This donation is set to bolster medical emergency response in the National Capital District and Central Province, allowing St. John Ambulance to continue its life-saving mission. The vehicle, valued at around 1,700 kina, was delivered to St. John on June 4, 2023, but officially ended over today in Port Mosby. It is fitted with essential medical equipment and supplies and will play a crucial role in saving lives. CEO of St. John Ambulance, Matt Cannon, said ambulance vehicles are fundamental tools that enhance the ability of workers to save lives. This ambulance, we estimate, will help save 3,000 lives. And uh, it's a, you know, for you, this is an ambulance, but for the people it will help, it's their life saved. Cannon said the challenge they have is keeping up with the fleet because of the demand for ambulance to attend to emergencies. We only get two or three years out of each ambulance, not because we don't look after it, but because of the demands that are on these. These ambulances, once they're commissioned, they're working 24 hours a day. He had added that road condition is another challenge they deal with on a day-to-day -day basis and this additional ambulance is a big asset to them. We're hopeful that this relationship with Island Mobile continues for many years to come because it's greatly benefiting the ability of these ambulance people to get to sick men and women. The CEO for Island's mobile hire cars, Malko Mamata, said the hire car company recognizes the vital role that St. John Ambulance plays in delivering emergency medical services to the communities. This is why they came on board to assist with the donation of this new ambulance. Trace Sipa, TV1 News.